Hello everyone. So this is the introduction to piping. In this video, we will learn more about piping and how do we work and how do we work with others. So we will be talking today about the oil and gas stages, what is piping, project life cycle, engineering disciplines, and piping interface with other disciplines. The three major oil and gas stages are upstream, midstream, and downstream. Upstream is all the work that is related to the production of the oil, like exploration and bringing the oil from the well. And then once we have it, we need to ship it and move it to the another facility that will treat the oil. So moving this oil is the midstream. And then downstream is the facility, which is, can be a petrochemical plant or a refinery. And this is the downstream work. The downstream facility, um, it has a lot of equipment. This equipment can be a pump, a compressor, a tank, a tower. All of these components and equipments are connected together using the pipes. And this is the piping that we will be talking about. This piping is different than each pipe and this equipment and this facility is different than the other pipe. Because the pipe that is feeding the pump, it has a low pressure and it cannot handle the high pressure or it's not designed to have high pressure but the pipe that is moving or leaving the pump it is uh it should be designed for a higher pressure so we cannot use the pipe before the pump after the pump and we should not be using the pipe after the pump before the pump because that will not be economical to use the pipe that can handle high pressure at the low pressure and also the pipe that is feeding the pump or the service around the pump itself is not corrosive. So we don't need to use a high material or an uh, expensive material like stainless steel or something. We can use a regular carbon steel at this service. But when we increase the temperature, maybe there is a corrosion mechanism will happen. So we cannot use the carbon steel at this service. So we need to change the material. So this is the piping that our course and these videos will be talking about is the piping in these downstream facilities. Every project starts with an idea. Once they have the idea, they will start to do the feasibility study and make sure that this idea is really feasible and it is worth it to build this plant. It might be a petrochemical plant or a refinery. If it is feasible and they decided to move on, they will go to the next phase or phase two of the project and it's called a basic design. At this basic design, process engineering is gonna put up the is gonna put the uh, outlines for the process. So they will start with generating the PFD or the process flow diagrams. This PFD is gonna show us how to handle this crude until we get the final product out of it. And then Mechanical engineering will also start to build a preliminary design for all the equipments and piping will produce the plot plan. The plot plan is going to show all these equipments and where it is located in this land or the piece of land. Once the basic design is completed, we will move to the phase three and phase three is the feed, which is the front end engineering design. This phase is going to be more detailed than the basic design. So they will start to have more details on the process flow diagrams. They will start to add the design conditions and they will start to add the line sizes to the lines that connected between the equipment. Also, they will have the valves on the PFD. So now the document is not gonna be called, they will not call it PFD anymore. It will call a PNID, which is a piping and an instrument diagrams. Also mechanical engineering will start to have more details in their data sheets piping engineering will start to generate the piping specifications which is going to be the guidelines for the design once the piping specifications is generated they can load it to the model and then piping designers they can start doing the modeling once the feed is completed now they go to the next phase which is phase four of the design and it's called detailed design this is going to be the final design phase which will have all the details needed to go for construction. So piping will start to generate the ISOs and it's gonna show every single component and all the dimensions needed. 
the piping engineering will start to generate all the SP items. Uh, all the line list will have all the information inside. All the deliverables will be completed at this phase. And the project will, at the end of this phase will be ready to go for construction. On each project, there are several engineering disciplines that are working together to complete the project. These engineering disciplines are process engineering, who are responsible to build or design the process. So they design how the process will go from the design conditions, uh, temperature, pressure, uh, the line sizes, where the equipment and the sequence between the process or between the equipments. And then we have the mechanical engineering and they are responsible to design all the mechanical equipments, which is like the uh, pressure vessels, pumps, tanks, uh, compressors, reciprocating compressor, heat exchangers. We also have piping and piping engineering, and they are responsible to design the pipes, make sure that these pipes are suitable for the design conditions, and these pipes can handle the service from the corrosion or from every, all the other points. We also have the INC, or instrumentation and control, and they are responsible to control the flow of the process. So they can control how to operate the valve, uh, from the control room, they are responsible to measure and take the readings for the other readings or the other conditions of the process, the flow conditions, the pressure, temperature, all of that. Electrical engineering and civil. All of these disciplines, they work together to make sure that the project is going smooth and all the documents are consistent and they don't have any issue with it. So if one of the disciplines, they are responsible to issue one of these documents or his document, all the other disciplines might need to take a look at this document to make sure it matches their own. So let's talk about piping with the other disciplines. So piping will work with process engineering on the PNIDs to make sure that the conditions on the PNIDs are covered by the piping specifications and also to make sure that the line size is already there and all the valves they need, all the uh, special items or specialty products or SPs. Also, they need to confirm that these conditions does not exceed the ASME limits. So if they have a conditions and they specify the class 300, maybe these conditions are really higher than 300 pound and they need to upgrade the class to be 600 pound. Or these conditions might be lower than 300 and they can downgrade to class 150 and save some money. Also, piping work with, with mechanical to make sure that the mating nozzles or the mating flanges are correct and they are matching each other and they can be bolted together, especially on the large sizes. So on the large sizes like 26 inch and larger, they have two types of flanges. So maybe mechanical started to use series A, but piping, they have designed and purchased series B. And both of them, they have different geometry and different sizes, so they cannot be bolted together. Also, piping will work with instrumentation to make, th make sure that they have specified the fittings that can be connected to the in instruments. So all the uh, pressure gauges can be installed correctly. They have decide designed this and purchased the right fittings for the in instrument connections. Electrical, they don't work much with piping engineering. Uh, civil engineering, they work because we need to know where the steel structure is so we can design our supports as well. This is the end of the uh, piping introduction. Um, in the next one, we will be discussing the codes and standards and specifications, and we will learn more about what are the different types of codes and what are the differences between all of these together, the codes and standards and specifications. Thank you very much.